Let's stand together. We're going to pray and ask the Lord to expose voter fraud in our country and to stop it, to check it. You know I have brought that up often. That is a primary concern of mine, that the other side, the side in this war for the soul of America, who want to pull America out from under God, who want to marginalize Christianity and expunge all Christian influence from our government, from our society, really, uh, that crowd, they don't operate by the same moral compass we do. They just don't have any rules that are sacrosanct. We've watched them lately begin to um, pull away from some of the most cherished American ideals. How about innocent until proven guilty? They've thrown that by the boards. The whole concept of truth has become something malleable. You can shape it into whatever shape you want it to be. You know, truth is you. You got your truth, I got my truth. There's no objective. This is a mess. So the crowd that's on the other side of this tug of war for the soul of America, the side that's pulling us out from under God against our efforts to pull it and to keep it under God, that tug of war going on, that side, that other side over there, those guys, they'll do anything. There are simply no rules that get in the way of them doing whatever it is they think they've got to do to get whatever it is that they think that they want. And, I mean, look what they're doing. I mean, we could go, they, I could give you a long list, but I think you are already aware of the fact that these people are lawless. Righteousness to them is getting Trump out. That's what righteousness is. <laughs> That's how they define it. So whatever it takes to do that is righteousness. Well, righteousness to me isn't keeping Trump in. Righteousness is doing what's right. I hope that's the result. <laughs> but righteousness is doing what's right. And that's what I want to pray about is that God will favor us with mercy. You know, the Bible talks about going to the throne of grace where we might obtain mercy to find grace to help in time of need. You understand the foundation of there is mercy. We need mercy. We don't pretend to deserve it. We're a mess, but we do need mercy. And God is merciful. So we're going to appeal to his mercy and ask him to do this for us. We know that truth has been cast into the street. That's a lot of what my Sunday night series is about, getting truth back on the pillar. We know that's happened. We know that many Christians have participated in that. We know a lot of churches have participated in that. We know that many, many hundreds and hundreds of churches have turned their back on anything like objective truth, the Word of God, the preserved Word of God, that kind of thing. It's, that's gone by the boards. We're crying for mercy. That God would have mercy and recognize that at least at churches like White House Baptist Church, the truth is on the pillar. That we're not in this country completely devoid of a remnant. There is a remnant in America. And we're going to ask the Father to please look at that remnant and have mercy and pity the remnant. Amen? And in pity of the remnant, move to turn justice and judgment back toward us. Because the Bible says, with truth in the street, justice stands afar off and, justice, uh, and, tr and judgment is turned away from us. But we need them to enter in so that these people who are doing these corrupt and evil and wicked things will be exposed. Are you with me in that prayer? Lifting up our, hand, our hearts with our hands toward heaven, then, Father, we are praying in Jesus' holy name. You will have pity, have mercy upon us, O God. Let us find here at your throne at this time right now grace to help us in this time of our need lord we know justly truth has been cast in the street and so justly lord because of that it's right that judgment would be turned away backwards and justice would stand afar off but i'm petitioning your throne for mercy have pity lord regard the estate of your remnant. 
Help us, O God. Hear us, I pray. Deliver us from these wicked and unreasonable people. Save our children, Lord God, from their wicked and perverse influence. Save us, O God in heaven, I pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen.